<sighs> well, good morning, everyone. That was a nice rest. Let's see what the weather is for today. Hoping it's nice and sunny. That's what the forecast said, at least. What the f- What's up, inflatable enthusiast here? And I have been waiting for this day ever since I started collecting inflatables. Today's review is on the Jemmy 2020 Colossal 20 foot Nutcracker. This inflatable is just absolutely incredible. I love pretty much everything about it. I love nutcrackers, I love how big it is, and I just overall just love this design. Now, um, don't call me crazy, but I bought this used off of Mercari for $280. Yes, I know. That is a ridiculous amount of money comparing to the price it was sold for, which was about $189 or $160 if you got it on a sale. But I don't care. I'm happy with my decision. I saved up money for months and months, but yeah. So... I absolutely love this inflatable, and I cannot wait to open it up, so let's get to the unboxing. Now, I'm not going to cut to it or anything, I'm just going to go straight to it because this doesn't come in a bag or anything like that. It did come in another box, but I already took this out, so. So yeah, I'll give you three reasons why I bought this inflatable. One, the design is awesome. It's just awesome. It's incredible. I know I'm going to say that so many times in this video, but it just is. Two, this is a highly, um, not wanted, I guess, I guess I could say that, highly wanted inflatable. So these sold out really, really fast. And this listing on Mercari was the only listing I could find of this inflatable at all. And like I said, I know $280 is a ridiculous price. That's over $100 more than it sold for. But I don't care. I love this inflatable. And I wanted to make sure I had this for my 2021 display because it's just, it's an incredible design. And if someone had bought in this, I would have been really, really upset. So I said, you know what? Rather safe than sorry. I'll pay 280. I have the money. And this inflatable is just incredible. So I'm not really missing out on anything. And the fan is a YF-125. A 200 would be ideal, but this still does inflate it really, really well. And it's at least better than the Santa and the Snowman. They gave them a YF-60, which is just, like, what the hell, Jimmy? That's, that's awful. That's horrible. So, anyways, I'll zipper this back up, clip this in, and we'll inflate it. Also, one quick thing before I inflate this. Um, it did come with stakes. It came with four colossal stakes, four colossal tethers, and I think four fishhook stakes, which is... Just another what the hell moment. You're not even going to use fish hook stakes on a five foot inflatable, let alone a 20 footer. So, yeah, I already put them in a different container though, so that's why I didn't show them in the unboxing.
here it is inflated. And um, let me just say, this is one impressive inflatable. It is 20 feet tall. It has, I think, five or six C7s, one in the head, one in the body, one in the leg, and one in the boot. Actually, no, I think it has two in the body, so five C7s. So it should light up pretty well at night. And this is just a gorgeous design. It just looks so good. From the detail on his chest to the holly on his hat, I just think everything is perfect. It does have um, less detail than that 16 foot nutcracker a few years ago that had a very similar design, but I mean, it's bigger, so it doesn't really matter that much. But yeah, I absolutely love this inflatable. This is definitely on my top three favorite inflatables of all time and maybe my new favorite. So yeah, there is not a single thing I would change about this design. I think it's perfect in every way. And as you can see, the, the beard or the goatee, it's not inflated yet. It takes about 10 minutes to inflate. It doesn't get much air to it, but I actually like it better when it's deflated. I think it looks like a little more like a beard, but yeah. I had to stake this one down because, I mean, it's 20 feet tall. It's freaking enormous. It would not stand by itself. So I staked it down all four sides and has two tether loops, one up there, one down there. And then it actually has two more on either side of the boot. Now, I think these tether loops are a little bit too high off the ground. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use to stake them down because that's a good, eight or nine inch distance from the ground. So you're gonna have to use some really big stakes to stake it down there. And then obviously you can stake down the base van. So I think the YF-125 does a really good job of inflating this and inflates it in roughly two minutes, which is not that long considering this thing is enormous. And it's definitely better compared to the 20 foot Santa and the snowman, which takes about seven to eight minutes to inflate because of the YF-60. I really like the snowman and the Santa too. It's just, I'm, I'm more of a fan of nutcrackers. And once again, the fan just completely turned me off. The fan is one of the main reasons why I'm probably not gonna purchase those. I mean, normally it wouldn't bother me that much. If I had the money, I probably would, but I haven't seen any of them go up for sale. Same thing with this one. This is the only one I've seen go up for sale in, well, since December because they sold out really fast. And I thought, I was hoping they were going to be re-released this year, but from the looks of it, I don't think they will be, which is really disappointing because these would probably sell out again and Jemmy would make a lot of money off of them, but oh well, they do what they want to do. But yeah. So here's the top of my head. It's about right here. So just above the boot. So right there. And this thing is still super, super tall. I mean, this thing is, it's colossal to say the least. So I did buy mine used. There's no holes or anything, but there are these like scratch marks down here. No punctures though, I checked everything. However, the light in his boot and in his head don't work. And you will see that at nighttime. So, yeah, let's see what it looks like at night. And also here it is with the goatee inflated. Um, from the front, it looks pretty good, but from the side, it looks um, pretty strange. It kind of looks like a beak, but uh, no one's gonna be seeing it from the side really. So that doesn't really matter. So here's what it looks like at night. 
as you can see it lights up really really good but uh the light on mine in his head doesn't work the camera makes it look brighter than it actually is in person his head is actually quite dim and you can't see it very well and i did feel around inside of his head and the light was there so it doesn't work which is pretty disappointing considering I got this in new condition, but no big deal. I'll just buy a replacement and I'll replace it. I really wish there was one more light in his boots. Maybe there is and I didn't see it and it just doesn't work. But as far as I can see, there's only three C7s or no four actually. Only three are working. This is one in his head that doesn't work two in his body and then one in his legs so it has pretty good lighting like i said i wish there was one in his boots but there may be one that just doesn't work i don't know but the one in his head is broken so i'll have to replace that but other than that uh yeah that's about it i'm the inflatable enthusiast and i'll see you guys next time